So today I'm going to be making these chicken rolls. Um, haven't made these before and I haven't seen them being done before so <clears throat> it's a bit of trial and error. So I'm going to be using these um, frankfurters, uh, 10 chickens smoked with natural beech wood uh, from Hurt, Herta. They're quite uh, they're quite dear, I think they're about two pounds something actually. Uh, but I thought I'd give it a try anyway. So uh gonna be using them. And the pastry is the used stuff I normally use is the uh, Lidl's um puff pastry for eighty P. So uh, I know this comes out alright. So I'm gonna make a start on this then. I'm going to roll the pastry up first. The pastry's been out of the fridge for about 15 minutes, so it's softened a bit, so you can roll it out. I need to get 10 chicken rolls out of this, so I'm going to have a quick measure up and see how many I can get out of this sheet of uh, puff pastry. Just put a little bit of tension on the pastry as you're rolling it, pulling it towards you slightly. It's looking good so far. I like the fact you can get the right amount of the pastry for the sausages. There's another one. Okay, so I've preheated the air fryer, uh, which is now on. So I had two strips of pastry over, uh, and I've got two sausages in the fridge, but the sausages aren't cooked, so I put the, the two strips in the fridge uh, and I can cook the sausages later. So I've got 10 um, chicken dogs or chicken rolls, whatever you want to call them. So I'm just going to uh, give these a coat of, uh, coat of milk. do all of these and I'll come back to it in a minute. Okay so I've coated both sides now uh, right round with milk. Um, when you roll the pastry round it, if you coat it in the strips, uh, if you overlap it each time it goes round, slight overlap, uh, you get a nice corrugated effect. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, it's slightly overlapped. So I'm hoping these are going to cook all right uh, when they go in the air fryer. So a bit of salt on it, not much, and a little bit of pepper. That air fryer is now ready, been preheated. Right, so I'm going to put these in the air fryer. Probably going to get. Not sure. Uh, might get five in. Probably not. But we give it a go. So, oh, I don't know. Might get five in it. One. Turn that round so you can see. Two. Probably get six in, but as I've got. Uh, Close, but I've only got a small air bra, so the bigger Kasori probably would get six in easy. So I've got five in here, and that leaves me five. So I'm going to put these in and put the other five in the fridge for the time being while these ones cook. So I'm thinking 
same as sausage rolls, um, 10 minutes, uh, no 12 minutes of sausage rolls were 6, well I don't even need to turn them over actually, so 12 minutes, so these are going to go in now, and see how they come out, hoping they don't stick together. But... We're going to put it on for... Um, 90 12 minutes okay so the time has gone off they've been in for 12 minutes so what do they look like okay they look quite good um, as you can see they're uh, they've nicely uh, risen I might leave that for a minute just to cool down before I take them out otherwise they might break up so uh, be back in a minute okay so that's all done take it out um, as you can see uh, they've come out pretty good actually um, yeah not bad at all so that leaves me another five to do shortly I've got them in the fridge at the moment uh, so I'll be doing them uh, mess wise, as you can see, very little mess in there. Uh, maybe just a quick wipe out and a little bit of a rinse. And the inner, uh, the outer one, uh, I always keep falling that now. Things still seem to cook fine at the fall in the bottom, so I don't see much point because it just says clean it up now. Yep, so that's great. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, if you did, give us a thumbs up and uh, give us a subscribe. Okay, thank you very much.